Greetings from Inferno Lakes in Yosemite Wilderness. This video details how to use stretch loops and guy lines. The stretch loop has a knot on this end. Squeeze down the other end to fit through the guy loop on the tent fly. Then run the knot through the top of the stretch loop and pull it down. Attach the guy line in the same way. Roll it over the top of itself enough to be able to make a knot in it. And then put this loop through the stretch loop and then run the guy line through the guy line loop. How pretty you make this probably depends on how hard the wind is blowing. And there you have an easy on, easy off, securely attached guy line with an integrated shock absorbing stretch loop built in. The other end may require a bit of creativity. If you're snow camping, you probably have six or eight snow pegs and a resource to draw on of snowshoes, trekking poles, snow shovel, ice axe, maybe bury a crampon or two as a snow anchor to ride out the storm. Summer camping, we only carry four aluminum hook pegs. And if the wind is blowing so hard that we think we need guy lines, we've already pinned down all four corners of the tent. This is your first defense against the machinations of the wind to bend your tent poles, stabilizing the ends of the poles. No more pegs? We need ram. Readily accessible materials. That could be a root sticking up out of the ground or low shrubbery or perhaps a stob on a nearby fallen tree. Or go directly to Sir. For that, we need to splice in another section of guy line. So we'll make a loop here, and then another loop here, and then run the loop like so. The guy line then through the loop, readily spliced. Now we'll do the same thing here, another loop. And on this loop, we'll put the guy line through the loop to make a choker for the stick. Put just a little bit of tension on the line and smash the stick under a rock big enough to hold the stick firmly in place. When do you need one of these trip hazards? It's a judgment call, of course, but if the wind sounds like a freight train roaring down on you, that might be a good time. How many? If we're going to bother to set one, we'll probably set two or three. Which guys to choose? An array facing the wind. If the wind is shifting, or you think it might, then use the four guys on the corners to have the most direct and strongest support for the poles. On this eight day outing with 0% chance of rain in the forecast, we brought the dew cap only. The full fly has guys at corresponding corners, as probably most flies do. Do you need stretch loops? Yes if you believe in the program of be kind to your gear and it'll be kind to you. You can buy them ready-made online or make your own from 1 8 inch shock cord. 7 64ths is a little bit too light and 3 16ths is way too heavy. You wouldn't run shock cord to the ground as that would allow too much play. The guy lines are tangle resistant 2 millimeter static cord in sections of 4 feet. Static meaning not elastic. You can also use paracord, sometimes called 550 cord. In our weight and volume reduction crazy mode, we use one millimeter static line guaranteed to torture with tangles in the wet, wind, and cold. Guy line tighteners are okay if you find them agreeable. We don't. That may be everything we know about stretch loops and guy lines, but if you have any questions, please send them to us on our website at tigeroutdoor.com. 
Thank you for watching this Sweetie Pie production, which I hope has been helpful. The weather is great. Come on out.